give Robert Arnheim the holder. Yep. And so far, he had uh, got a start. And that wasn't even close. All right, fourth down and one. Play action. Carter in trouble. Fire into the end zone. And it was batted down. Incomplete in the end zone on fourth and one. As making the defensive play as uh, that throw was attended for Blake Hammond. Chris Smith as part of that uh, defensive breakup for Northern Illinois. Very, very well defended right there. I mean, uh, no way he was going to fit that in. Almost intercepted by Smith, too. No way he was going to fit that in there. And, uh, you know, again, the inability of West Palmer on it three times today. Against the Blitzes. Now they're in a three down look. They're going to pull out again. They pulled out. On third and ten, Harnish being tracked down. Got out of there. Chandler Harness has picked up a Northern Illinois first down after it looked like uh, he was in a lot of trouble in the backfield with the Western Michigan rush. Big time trouble and Western is doing a great job of showing blitz looks and pulling out and Harness pulls it down and boy what you know a quarterback would leave it one more shot. Former Marine, 26 years old. Second and eight. Carter in trouble. And down he goes. Set time for Northern uh, Illinois as uh, that was Devon Butler. Butler, the 225 pound sophomore out of Pembroke Pines, Florida. Well, we haven't. This is a, a blitz, a delayed blitz, and he comes scot free. You can see right there. Uh, and again, uh, Butler, uh, the sophomore line there. Great job by Carter and White. And they've hurt. Northern Illinois a bunch of times today. Look at those numbers. Career highs for Jordan White. Uh, just having a monumental year. Back to the ground game, and again, there is absolutely nothing there for Western Michigan as Aaron Winchester was belted by Alex Kuba. You know, and Coach Kill made a big deal about that. We got to play the run. We have to play. They're yep. not a running team, but we still 53 left. They could pick up the first down again. The uh, the line to make is at the four yard line. Let's see what Bill Cubit gets. Carter throwing the fade. Nunez. He made the catch, but he was out of bounds. And for the second time wow. inside the red zone. In the last two Western Michigan possessions, they turned the football over on downs. Yep, and, and you know, he wasn't even close to getting his feet down. And again, uh, that's a little bit on the receiver. He's got to give himself plenty of room to go up and get okay. Moving the sticks for Western Michigan as they approach the red zone. Carter in trouble. Arnheim got it. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Wow. Well, it was a broken coverage, and, and Tommy Davis, I believe in the cover too, sucked up a little bit on the spur out, and a great job by Carter. Handler Harnish out of the pistol with Chad Span behind him. Off play action, he's gonna go in the seam, and his throw is on time. Beautifully fired to Nathan Palmer on that, uh, that post route. Big, big play on first down. Huge, huge play on first down. Uh, again, running right down the seam of the zone. Play action. Great throw. Great throw by Harnish. Action by one. Harnish guns the out. And it is caught. Boy. Excellent grab by uh, Martell. Making Willie Clark. Clark out of Rosedale, Illinois. Tough catch. Did a great job of tapping that foot down right on the sideline. Take a look at Watch him just tap the foot right. There, beautifully done. No ground game here. Game on the line. We'll see. Line to make it the 24. Harness fires. Caught first down. Martel Moore made the grab as he uh, worked himself into that that crease and Harness zipped the football for the Northern Illinois third down conversion. Boy, and, and Moore makes a great catch here. This ball was a, a little bit thrown behind him. A terrific job. He knew exactly where he had to get for the first down. Look at him right there. He was going to stretch it. Zoo on ESPN with Doug Raver and our crew on Michael Regat, Northern Illinois. Trying to stay unbeaten, but Blitz. down by one. Blitz. Harness on the fade. It is caught. Oh. Touchdown, Willie Clark. Made the tremendous grab on the fade, but we have got a flag back near the line of scrimmage. Hold on.
Result of the play is a touchdown. We have a personal foul roughing the quarterback with a launch to the helmet, with the helmet to the head. It will be enforced on the kickoff. Let's take a look at it here. You make the call. Well, we, yeah, you saw him leave his feet, no question, and was leading with the head. What a catch. Wow. By Willie Clark. All oh. right. And with the lead, remember, at five, right? Going to that chart and dialing it up. Two point conversion coming for Harnish. Fire inside, and it is caught. A two point conversion successful to Nathan Palmer. To make this a 28-21 Northern Illinois lead, but it does. Alex <laughs> Carter, and now Western is checking for the football game. Quarterback draw. It's close, Whoa. but it looks like, from our perspective, that Carter's got enough to move the sticks for a Western Michigan first down. Boy, what a collision! And you talk about a big. Uh, uh, decision here and it is a first and ten they're not even going to measure what a collision this was yeah watch the pop hello huh wow and that football came out momentarily too just listen to this hit wow. all right let's get back live i hear you you've got you, you have to be calm talking to your quarterback second and ten for the 28 blitz coming carter jordan white not able to break his 14th reception of the day, and Western Michigan is going to get a timeout. Kyrie Daniels made a heck of a play right there. They were straight man-to-man -man press, and they were trying to uh, bump him, or as I call, pick him, and he fought through the uh, pick and made a heck of a play. In the tank, Western Michigan could pick up a first down at the six. Carter, look out! Hit as a release! It got picked off! He was hit on the release as making that big hit out of the secondary for Northern uh, Illinois on that blitz. That blitz for Northern Illinois was uh, Demetrius Stone, who's played well today. Let's take a look now at a defensive play of the game brought to you by Cooper Tires. Don't give up a thing. Wow, what a shot he took. And I'll tell you, that, that was a, a great blitz call by Tracy Clays, the defensive coordinator, and they have been bringing the heat now every single play for the last three, and they finally got a guy free, and uh, and boy, what, what a play he made, too. And of